Good morning. The weather forecast for this day, the 2nd of July 2050, is still very humid air coming into northern Europe, giving a risk of thunderstorms in this area. The lows are still moving from uh, Iceland to northern Scandinavia, as this has done in the uh, summer period the last years. So today, still flow from Mediterranean and flow from Atlantic with very warm air into our area. So I expect this morning that we have quite sunny weather in Denmark. Temperature is about 20 degrees, so it uh, feels very warm and, of course, also humid. But during the forenoon and especially in the afternoon, I expect uh, thunderstorms developing over northern Germany. And from there, it will move to the southern part of Denmark. These thunderstorms may be quite heavy and giving a uh, risk of uh, flooding in uh, main cities, of course. So citizens are advised to take care of property and basements. And also look out for thunder clouds and look out also for small tornadoes, which may be a risk in these heavy thunderstorms. The temperature is expected to rise to about 35 degrees. This weather forecast from 2050 is well in accordance with the latest IPCC report, especially looking at RCP 8.5. We expect the heavy precipitation events will be more common in the future. But already here in 2014, we have seen examples. Most extreme may be in 2011, 2nd of July, where very heavy precipitation and thunderstorms flooded the city of Copenhagen. The streets looked like Venice in northern Italy and cost billions of dollars. But in Denmark, we have also seen that the temperature has rised during the latest century. And also, the precipitation has increased, mostly in the wintertime, where the evaporation is low and the water is uh, run off into ditches or developing into small lakes in the fields. In the summertime, the amount of precipitation is almost the same, but the type of precipitation is in changing into more extreme events, exactly what we saw in Copenhagen three years ago. Why are we seeing this change into more extreme precipitation? The atmosphere has got warmer, it also contains more moisture, and more moisture basically means more energy. And more energy in the atmosphere is giving rise to these heavy ev rain events. And this is just exactly what we see in Europe when we move southwards, we are experiencing stronger and stronger precipitation events. Now you can just say we've moved southern Europe's weather to northern Europe. But is it at all possible to change this development uh, into uh, the extreme events in northern Europe? To Avoid it entirely requires that we are not warming up the atmosphere. The atmosphere has to be stabilized at a temperature not increasing much more than it is today. And this actually takes decades, yeah, even the rest of the century, to adjust to a new state. So in fact, what we are saying is that we have to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases. And that means, again, that we have to act now. Exactly. Thank you. Climate change is affecting the weather everywhere. It makes it more extreme and disturbs established patterns. That means more disasters, more uncertainty. We can reduce the risks by cutting global greenhouse gas emissions and building low carbon economies. Let's work together to make our societies safer and more resilient. Please join me in taking action on climate change. Thank you.